Hi everyone, Paolo here. So welcome back to just another dang how to channel. So on this video, uh, we're going to cover how to link an existing account to a social login. So I had this question on one of the previous videos that I did uh, setting up Google with so SSO. Uh, I won't be setting that on this tutorial. Uh, if you want, um, I'll drop a link on this video. You could go through all those steps. I'm just going to cover the bit where we have an existing user and then we want to link it to a um, SSO from um, Google. So I'm just going to sh quickly show my current setup that's currently working. So I have this user which I have linked up um so if i go under here under third party account links it's uh linked up with my social account uh, which is google so let me just quickly show that that it's still working where i left it so i'll grab this link and you try to go to Google um, and then choose because I'm logged in on both accounts. It's going to ask me which account I want to use. If I use this one, which is the one that I used on my previous tutorial, it's going to log me inside the org with that account. So it doesn't look much, but if I go here and on my settings, um, you would see that I'm logged on with that uh, account. So let me log out here and let me show you how uh, it would work. So i have logged back with my natural account if I link it up with an existing account. So if I go to user, since I'm on a developer edition or they only have two Salesforce license, so I'm going to deactivate this this my org I'm gonna activate back this account that I just um, recently created so if I quickly open this um, you would see there's no third-party link account here so this has not been set up for SSO and username is concepto at myorg.com um, let me activate this so I can use it. So the trick here, if I go to auth and go to auth providers, all right. So the trick here is the registration handler that was auto generated for us. So the one that I created, I named it as Google SSO auth. So let me open that on another tab. And from here, we have two methods here, create user and update user. So if I jump to the uh, documentation for the registration handler, that's those two methods, create user and update user. So the create user uh, allows us to create a new user or um, we could use it for setting up an existing user so the user object corresponds to the third party user information maybe user new user that hasn't been inserted in the database or may represent an existing user in the database so this uh, would be the concepto at my org.com account that i created so i'm going to link it up with that so the way to do that is you modify the create method so let's jump back on that uh, apex class which is here so the one that we created this one's actually creating a user it's um, passing the portal ID and the data so what you actually need if you're already setting up a new user for, I'm not going to write the complete code. Um, let me hit this. So probably I'll comment this out. And just do this. 
So probably what you want to do is first check if that username exists on your uh, exists as a user. So I could say string user, and I'm gonna use the same method where I get the uh, username from the email address, and then I'm gonna query the user object. Let's say select ID from user where username equals user. So uh, this is what you might do. So you select first if the user exists. If it doesn't exist, then you could run this logic. But for this tutorial, I'm just, just going to match that username here. So this is going to match the account that I'm going to log in with. So let me save that. Cool. And if I go back to uh, the registration handler and do this and do this. I'm now going to select this account, which is not yet linked, but it's an existing user on Salesforce. So it's going to do this. And now I'm logged on with that account. So if I go to my settings, you can see that I'm logged on with that account. So let's also go to the setup and see that this has been linked. So go to user. and go here and if i scroll a little bit here third party account link so it's now linked so that's how you link an existing account with your google um, account uh, basically that's it so hope you like this tutorial for more please subscribe to my youtube channel bye for now